Uh, I figured uh, that would be uh, much easier to make a video of this to try to explain you guys, for you guys uh, how to fix the force feedback uh, on Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, I had problems to figure out what the fuck uh, the problem was because uh, I followed all these steps, but uh, it didn't work for me. But uh, until I saw some things, I'm gonna try to explain later on and this is how it works so uh, first of all um, I'm gonna put this link uh, link in the, the, the bottom comments um, for you guys to make it easier for you um, but uh, yeah uh, let's start with the uh, open this uh, link here um, and uh, yeah this is just stuff we don't need to think about right now uh, let's see, it's gonna be around here somewhere. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, we need this one, but this is also, also a thing. We don't need all of it, uh, it's gonna need to stop right there. I don't know why they put the last part in, that has nothing to do with this, but we're gonna copy this one. And yeah, you need to like uh, download Notepad++ or whatever. I'm gonna put that there down in the link too. Uh, so first of all, we copy this one, and then you're gonna need to go to find like the the install file for uh, the rally, whatever you have it. Um, I have it through Steams, for example. So I'm gonna look up Steam, Steam apps, common the rally two inputs then devices and then we have this one if you download a notepad plus plus i'm gonna add this one and yeah i think like this is where the biggest problem is with uh when you like copy this one because if we go down here and we're gonna put in a new row and we're gonna paste it this uh, after you like paste this and you're gonna try to open the game nothing on your keyboard will work because um, <laughs> like these small you see here they're not the same like the other ones and this is the problem why the keyboard doesn't work so we need gonna need to remove this and put in new ones on all of them remove put in a new one yeah and so forth um, it's gonna be super lame talking through all of this but uh, I'm gonna try to speed this up as fast as I can and uh, let's see remove add remove add now it, it now it works so like I don't know why they put for example all of this and why that uh, like why they have another type like type style whatever uh, sorry my english is not the best in the world but uh, i figured this will help you guys a lot so now this is correct so now we're just gonna need to save it and remove um then for the next part and uh, you know, like we need the second file for uh, for the game to recognize what kind of uh, yeah for example now the vrs we are using and it's also down here we're gonna need to go to action maps and uh, instead of making a new one we scroll down to the bottom here and we're gonna download this one uh, show map uh, extract all extract yes copy this one the one we extracted uh, copy then we go back to uh, whatever you had uh, the game installed you go back and you have these action maps you go in here uh, it's simicube osv uh, let's paste it and then we go back to vrs website and we take this one um, god damn it copy this one go back to the oh shit sorry I'm wrong and we're just gonna change the name of this one like this save like press enter yes save this one exit 
exit, exit, opening game. I know it's gonna work. Like, uh, yeah, as I said, as I've seen around on the uh, like on the web, there it's been much more people other than me that had this problem, and it took me some time and like, I, uh, yeah, I got pissed <laughs> for a while, but uh, I just wanted to work. So uh, this is the workaround, and now all the keyboard and everything works, and now you can fix with a. Uh, like the setup that you want uh, yeah, in the game um, so yeah that's it and I really hope this uh, will help you guys that s still have the problem with it and I'm sorry for my English it's not my first <laughs> first language uh, but yeah thank you guys and take care